What's up guys, it's your Motivational Gamer and welcome to another video. Today, <laughs> we're going to talk about the best natural 5 star healers in the game. Fortunately for me, they're all in the water category. <laughs> so, uh, this is going to make my life super easy, okay? Now, uh, at the start of each video, uh, as we covered in the 2 star, the 3 star, and the 4 star, we talked about the difference between a healer and a non-healer or, or a support healer. Again, support healers typically only heal one target, you know, at a time, or maybe two targets, um, or uh, they just heal the entire party for an amount that's irrelevant, you know, well, not really irrelevant, but just it's not high enough to be for them to be considered a healer, essentially. Um, once you pull in a nat fives, you're going to see all kinds of utility, right? So it's going to be kind of tough uh, because with nat fives, they got so much like utility, versatility. They do all kinds of stuff. Like for instance, Annabelle. I mean, she can heal based on her attack power. You got Perna who who heals as a passive. You got the the dark vampire who also heals as a passive with thirty percent of the damage that he deals. You know, you got all kinds of crazy stuff. But again, the rules are still going to stick to place. So. Unit has to heal 25% or more uh, for the entire party, or they have to heal the entire party uh, for a substantial amount, an amount that's so substantial that you can't deny the fact that they're just, you know, not a healer. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're a healer. Like, you just got to accept it. Uh, and, and that's pretty much what it is. Um, healers are team focused, and they typically tend to be sturdy. So attack-based healers, Dark Vampire, Water, uh, Occult Girl, Annabelle, uh, Although they can heal for a tremendous amount, uh, depending on how they're built, will determine whether or not, A, they're even going to be substantial. For instance, Annabelle, she removes all harmful effects and recover the recovery amount and heals HP, but it's proportionate to her attack power. So if she's an attack build, although she can heal for a considerable amount, if she is not sturdy enough, she will not be able to sustain your team. So in most situations, and I say this kind of like in a common sense mentality, people aren't going to be like, hey man, what's your he who's your healer? Oh, uh, could you use the dark vamp? Yeah. <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> this is just not that was going to happen. For instance, like the dark vampire, um... You know, people are going to be blown away by this when I show you guys, but his passive, he, he heals for all allies for 30% of the damage that he deals. So he has for 30k, he's doing a 10k heal. But again, if he can get one shot at, which he can, um, he's not going to be um, your primary choice for a healer, although, even though his HP, his base HP is 11k. So that's something that you guys are looking at. Um, and that's something that, you know, I just wanted to get into and kind of cover with you guys before we got into the nitty grit. Um, Five stars are kind of tricky, guys, just because you have so much, so many saturated skills. You have Archangels who heal for 50%. Um, for instance, Eladriel, the Wind Archangel, he heals for 50% of your life on, on a single target, though, and he reses, right? So you would be like, well, he could heal. No, he's not a healer. Uh, again, another support healer. Welcome to the crew, Libra. Um, but he's not a support healer. All right, he, no, he is a support healer. He's not a full-time healer. So I just want to cover those subtle differences. And again, with five stars, you can kind of work them in however. But there's typically two healers. Two. One, two. Two. That are the best nat five healers in the game. And if you guys happen to have these in your box, you should be using them as your healers. One, two. Um, to find more success as you guys move forward. These two particular healers are easy. The Water Archangel, Ariel. Uh, the only one that comes with an AoE heal. Where you at, Ariel? Ariel? Ariel, where you at? Okay. Oh, that's Chandra. Okay. And, and oh, the Beast Monks too. They heal, they have the, the heal skill too. But again, those are still support healers. Ariel, most, most, mostest. One of the most OP uh, healers in the game. Recovers all HP of all allies by 30% each. And additionally recovers 15% um, every turn for the next three turns. So put like a little cross over your head like this. Just like this. And that signifies that you're going to recover 15% of your HP every single turn every time you go. So if you got a violent proc, that's 15-15. Boom. Jump shot. by Felicia. Right? So... That's what makes Ariel so good. Now, on top of that, <laughs> he also has the 50% heal that his brothers have um, and recovers an ally's HP by 50%. So, the thing about 4-star and 5-star healers, guys, specifically 5-stars too, is please, if you guys have a nat 5 or a nat 4 that we talked about in the nat 4 videos, uh, the best nat 4 healers, please ensure, ensure that you max skill these guys, guys. These guys, guys, <laughs> because 
don't make the mistake of getting these units and not investing devil mana into them and then complaining that nat fives just aren't that good okay don't don't be that guy or gal man these nat fives ain't shit are their skills max no oh i don't i don't, I don't even know why i don't even know why right so make sure that you're investing you know the necessary devil mana into these guys to make sure that they are reaching their full capacity because i'm telling you guys received like brand new nat fives brand new nat fours with no skill ups are completely different than they are when they're fully skilled completely different performance factor guys i'm telling you so just make sure you do that i just want to do this little tangent there all right so and the other healer is praha okay one of the best nat five healers in the game reason being is because she can be like praha how is she a healer because of the fact that she recovers the hp of all allies by 50 percent by putting herself to sleep okay uh, once you again another another situation where you max skill Praha on a lot of speed or on a vio build or if you decide to go with the despair build is Insane she increases her own attack bar by 15% although she's tough to build um, She what I mean by tough to build is she requires a lot of um, You know a lot of rune love to be really really effective her heal is insane. A 50% heal is just absolutely ridiculous. It is the most annoying thing to run into in the arena. It's just ridiculous, right? So understand that Praha with that 50% heal is one of the best healers in the game. So you take those two and those are pretty much the two nat fives. I mean, yes, you got a lot of like support stuff going on like Yan Hong. You got... Uh, you got all kinds of stuff, all these special units that do all this extra stuff. But even still, guys, those two units, those two water units are substantially, statistically, the best nat 5 healers in the game. So if you guys have either one of those units, congratulate yourself uh, on the back um, because those units are absolutely awesome. But that's it, guys. That concludes the healer series for the best healers in the game, uh, where we covered the best twos, threes, fours, and fives. Uh, if we missed any or you got any questions at all about particular healers, definitely ask in the comment box below. Uh, give this video, give all of these videos a like. Go back and watch them if you guys need to reference any of them. Which ones are healers? Which ones are goods? And which ones aren't? Um, and uh, definitely let me know. Um, you know, give the video a like if you liked it, if you learned something, if you just enjoyed the series. Uh, and give it a dislike if you didn't like the series or you just don't like TMG or you just, I don't know, maybe if I had more hair right here, you guys would like the videos. I don't know. <laughs> but if you dislike the video, definitely let me know um, why so we can continue to improve the quality of our content, guys. And we will see you guys in the next video.